hi and welcome back so in this video here I wanna spend a little bit more time to talk about the eyes and the type of eyes that our character Super Mario has so he has a kind of oval eyes the shape of the eyes of our character is kind of oval so if I go to the outliner and search for the eyes here you can see that you will notice something weird here so we have two groups each group is for one side okay and if I start expanding this group here you will notice a lot of groups here and the geometries are here underneath these groups so what this means let me go ahead first and choose this group here and let's go ahead and start rotating this around here all right everything looks nice the eyes are rotating and sliding nicely within their sockets despite the fact that they have an oval shape so how that works what's the reason behind this or what's causing the eyes here to slide without exiting their sockets so this is a very important question to ask here but before we answer this let me go ahead and choose this group here and let's move it up so you can see better the shape of the eyes of our character as you can see here they are oval okay they have the shape of oval and let's start rotating this and you will notice that the eyes the movement or the rotation of the eyes is a little bit different from the rotation of a regular sphere the rotation of this eye here is kind of sliding around the shape of the eye and does not change its shape while rotating okay so how is that happening the way that this is happening here is because we have this upper group here you can see it is named the form group and if you take a look at its transformations you will notice something here in the scale fields so we have already some values here these values here are what's causing this behavior we have here let me go ahead and undo back to bring the eye to its default orientation okay so something like this and let's see for example now if I take this group here and bring this out of the left or the deformed group here and if we start rotating this group now notice the difference the eye is rotating normally okay we have no sliding effect and if this was happening here in the eyes or the sockets of our character you will notice that this sockets here or this eye here will leave the socket as soon as we start rotating it around let me go ahead and show you that here so I will go ahead and bring this left group eye out of the deformed group we had before and if I start rotating this okay this is the effect that we get of course we don't want this kind of effects this is not a natural way of orienting the eye okay as soon as we start rotating it like this it will leave the socket and this is not a good thing at all so we have to find some way to rotate this eye here without leaving its socket and so that's the reason why we have created this deform group here and parent this left or the group or the eye group here this eye group here by the way is consisting of many small objects we have this outer or we have this here this pupil objects and then we have this outer eye here and then we have this kind of outer the most outer surface which kind of like a reflection surface that catch a little bit of reflection to give the eye a more realistic look okay 
but the most important group for us here is this one here so this one here if we parent that underneath this group which already have these values here you will notice that the group on the i is inheriting those values of that parent group okay so let me go ahead and take this i here i want to explain this much further so you get a better understanding of why this is happening let's see that for example let's take the parent group here and let's bring the values here to their default by default the scale fields have a value of one and if i now go ahead and press the f key to frame around the shape or the i group you can see the eyes now have changed their shape to the default spherical shape okay however let's say for example now these if i start rotating this group here this is the normal behavior of the eye rotation however if i start now let me go ahead and first let's go to the modify and center the pivot around this group here so you can see better if i start now scaling this group the deform group in the z axis the z axis and if i take the group underneath which contains the i okay take a look now the we have a different effect the eye is sliding around or rotating around and giving us the sliding effect and this is mainly happening because the group or the eye group here is inheriting the transformation of the parent group okay the group that is that have a values in the x axis so you can think of this like a cage or a box and the child this group here this left eye is the child and it is inheriting the transformation of its parents so it has you can think of it like if it has just a small room to rotate around and so the space it's inheriting is inheriting from the parent which has the scale axis field changed and the left or the eye group here is rotating in that resize space so the space of the of the eyes here is inheriting from the space of its parent and that's what's giving us this effect here okay so this technique here is going to be very handy to rig some certain types of eyes like the one we have here the type of eyes that have a kind of oval shape and so this technique here can serve very well in this case here so if I undo back a few times to bring everything to the default state okay let's press the F key to frame around our the eye of our character you can see now the kind of effect let's go to the wireframe and here is the effect that we get okay so pretty nice technique to use to rig and reshape certain eyes like these that we have here all right super cool so that's pretty much it for this lesson i want to just to clarify this idea here of the stylized eyes we are going to be working on for this character here let's go ahead and now move on to the next lesson and let's start creating some eyes joints